Hi everyone and uh, welcome to today's video. Um, I wanted to introduce the ZWO electronic automatic photo focuser and show you how I installed this on my uh, Skywatcher 130 PDS. Um, quick look in the box, uh, I've actually had the uh, open before because this was actually already attached to my scope and I've taken it off so I can show you how to uh, get it all attached but uh, in, in the box you get your bracket um, and your focuser motor and you get a selection of these uh, flexible couplings uh, these are go between the uh, focus motor and the uh, spindle on your um, focuser on your uh, chosen telescope. As you notice with these, I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're flexible. Um, so it'll help with the mounting of everything and if anything's just slightly off it won't be a problem. It'll, uh, it'll uh, still rotate nicely and not get jammed up. Uh, you get a selection of uh, different size screws and everything and washers um, and you also get a USB 2 lead uh, to help operate the uh, focuser. You can get a more advanced kit which also comes with um, a manual uh, controller to control the focuser. I use mine through software, I use Nina and um, they also do um, an attachment which goes here for temperature control so it will refocus if the temperature changes a certain amount but again through software you can actually um, have periodic through time or other other factors to uh, get the focuser to do a, a new focus routine right so let's uh, show you how to put this on a 130 PDS uh, which will be very similar to other Newtonian scopes of different sizes so this is the bottom plate of the focuser and you've got the focus tube at the top here um, there's a few uh, screws missing there's a locking screw that goes in the centre here which uh, you tighten up to stop the tube from moving um, you won't need that when the uh, electronic focuser is in place because it holds the uh, focus in a fixed position when it's not moving and here we, I had two grub screws which basically help with the uh, mounting of the plate these are the four main mounting bolts and these give you a little sort of offset in case you overdo these um, so they're not totally essential and I'm going to use these to mount the plate to hold the focuser in position I would show you the grub screws but unfortunately I'd removed them previously and no matter how hard I look I can't find them so uh, but they are just small grub screws uh, one thing to note with this is your focuser may uh, focus controls might be the other way round. Uh, when I purchased this, the dual focusing side was on was here, and the single was on the other side. Um, the electronic focuser only fits on the single speed side spindle, so I wanted the focuser on the down here because it was a neater. Um, I originally did mount it and it was this way and I didn't like it and it also helped with balance so this literally you take these four screws out flip it over put the four screws back in um, wasn't difficult and uh, these two centre ones here you don't need to undo as these just hold a small cradle inside which puts pressure on the bar that causes the friction to move the tube up and down so if you want to flip that over you can like I have it's not it's, it's not an absolute um, that you've got to do it but uh, it's what I chose to do so when you open your electronic automatic focuser you'll find in the box the kit um, an allen key and this also fits on this scope it fits the uh, grub screw that you need to remove to uh, take this focus knob off so um, there's a little access hole underneath here and if you just rotate rotate the uh, this a little bit you can uh, get it to locate and it's just a simple case of undo it and then once the screws it comes off the spindle nicely there in your kit you will have four 
of these uh, flexible couplers and they all have one size at the end, uh, at one end which fits your uh, focus motor and at the other end they've got varying sizes. So get one that uh, is you know a, a snugger fit as you can get it, you don't want it tight but you don't want it flopping around um, and I find just uh, you can obviously do this in your own own order but uh, I just literally get it on there get it on as far as it will go and I just don't tighten them up just literally take the slack so it's holding it in place but nothing's overly tight so you've got your flexible coupler in place and this is your motor stepper motor which will go on the other side of that and the bracket that comes with the kit then ties the motor to the actual scope so that it's not going to move around and it's going to be nice and supported so the plate there will screw onto the bottom of the uh, focus there and then there's two screws if I just uh, turn this round and maybe you can see them you've got two threaded screws oh one there and one there and the plate will sit on there and just say it's, they've got slots so you've got a bit of play there for movement about but that's how we're going to connect this to the actual scope so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bracket in place and just very lightly just get the uh, mounting screws just to catch the threads so they're in place that's good I'm not going to do anything up and also I'm going to make sure that the spindle from the focuser goes inside the flexible adapter there that's good and then all we've got to do is try and get these uh, I'm not sure if my hand's in the way there but I'm going to try and get these to line up with the holes that are on the focus so that's one and then the final one make sure the washer's on it normally putting the last uh, the last bolt or anything in is always the hardest there we go I felt that just touched the hole there there we go and we just get that on there as well okay and then it's just a case of taking up the slack and then we've just got to tighten these up and I'm just going to make sure that with with this you've got you've got a point where the uh, flexible adapter will push inside there you don't want it anything rubbing so you get a nice get a nice bit of spacing and then if you're happy don't do anything up tight just take up the slack of everything so it's kind of holding it in place it's a different uh, size allen key here let's just take up the slack there. that all looks pretty good and I'm just gonna do exactly the same with this flexible adapter I'm just gonna take up the slack there and this is just attaching this now there's one just over the other side there and that's everything nice and loose so remember we only slightly did up those other ones so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten everything down just checking making sure everything looks nice and square that's good be careful uh, with a lot of this uh, a lot of the bolts and the screws they're all steel and a lot of the things you're screwing into are aluminium and so it's very easy to over tighten and then you'll strip the threads and then you'll be in all sorts of problems because you won't be able to do anything up so things need to be nipped up and firm but don't over tighten, be careful. It's very easy to uh, damage things. Okay, that's everything.
nipped up and it is as simple as that to fit um, if you can see that there so basically now the focus tube is fixed that's not going to move anywhere because this can't rotate because it's all locked in by this focuser uh, uh, the automatic focuser um, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll put this on my rig and uh, I'll just get this to to uh, move the focuser up and down so you can see it in operation and uh, it's as simple as that so I hope this uh, has helped if uh, you do have any questions about the installation uh, please do ask me in the comments section and I will answer as best I can and help you if I can um, and I hope you enjoyed the video um, please like and subscribe if you do and uh, if there's any other types of videos you'd like and I can make them for you uh, let me know take care